ready back and that means parents are making lunches once again and while it can be time consuming uh, it can also be a great chance for kids to gain some lunch packing independence registered dietitian amy reed joins us with some ways to get kids involved good morning good morning you've got a nice looking spread here yes. some really good looking healthy foods to put in your lunch so help me because <laughs> if i let my son have independence in packing his lunch it would be like ho-hos <laughs> <laughs> Ding-dongs, maybe a piece of bread he might throw in there, but it would be all snacks. Well, the big thing is, is never ask the open-ended question, what do you want for lunch? Okay. Because then you're going to get like right. ho-hos, those pizza, kinds of things. Yeah. So the big thing is, is to offer them choices and have it be either choice is something that you're okay with. So if you're offering the choices, then you would say something like, would you like a turkey sandwich or would you like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Okay. So they get to choose, but you're offering them two options that you're fine with. So this is a system that I have started at my house where I have bins in my refrigerator and each bin is, is labeled. So I have veggies and fruit and protein foods. So okay. basically I've asked my kids, like when I go to the grocery store, I'm like, this is what you need for your lunches. Put some things down. Like what fruits do you want? What veggies do you want? So I'm not just saying, what do you want for your lunches? Right. I'm giving them some guidance as to what okay. I want them to contribute. And then when, and so then the th other thing with making them independent is providing obviously some guidance that I talked about and some organization, which I have done here. So we have a fruit and veggie box, a protein box, and then I have what I call like the counter. So they w basically they can take, they have to take one thing from each of the first three boxes and if they choose, they can take something from here. This would be more like the treaty foods okay. or crunchy foods, those kinds of things. And they usually always take something from there. Of <laughs> I would too. I mean. um, but having things ready to go. So I have some peppers that are already sliced so they could just put it right into a bento box if that's what they choose. I have a cutting board out. So let's say they want apples or they want a nectarine or they want kiwi. I have the cutting board out so they can participate in prepping it. Oh, this is like a plastic. There's a lot of knives that are like this so it's more safe for kids to use. So um, that might be helpful. They can cut it. They can help make their sandwiches on the cutting board, those kinds of things. Um, so that's, so basically, so we have have the choices, the guidelines, the organization of it. And then also having them have a say in like what lunch containers they use. Little kids, you want to make sure that they can get the container open. Right. Because <laughs> if they can't get the container open, they're not going to use it. Older kids, my kids have told me bento boxes are for babies. So we oh, are now. Oh, see, I use a bento box. So now that mine's so, in kindergarten, he might tell me no. No, this, he, he This should. is the bento box, by yeah. the way, where it's got the, the several different containers. Kind yes, of. the separated containers. Yeah. My kids say they're for babies, so they want to have the little separate baggies. I don't necessarily like the plastic waste, right. so you can use a lot of reusable plastic containers. They even make some like wax paper um, bags that you can use with fun little stickers. Oh, that's fun. Um, and then lunch boxes. My older kids, they don't really want lizards and characters on their lunch boxes <laughs> anymore. They want it to be plain. Some kids may just want a paper bag. So, you know, asking them their opinion, giving them choices. If they put in their, their lunch together, they're more likely to eat it. It's going to teach them how to put a meal together. They're going to be more likely to eat it and it just gives them independence as they get older. I love it. How do, how do you run in, or how do you deal with uh, you know like a kid saying I don't want to have any vegetables? Then I might say well you can have two fruits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is giving me good and ammunition I mean, here. And the whole thing is, is offering it. Like, I know it may not get eaten, right. but if I don't offer it, then it's definitely not going to be eaten. So. Okay. Very good information, always. Uh, and if you'd like to find out more information from Amy, it's Amy Reed Nutrition. Amy Reed Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, she always has great stuff. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back.